recently uh, baked an Atari 2600 motherboard in order to restore it, not to get it working, it was already working, it was just to get all the gunk off and restore it. Now I'm doing research on the uh, cleaning of the motherboards using the baking technique. I came across the fact that a lot of people use this technique on their video cards that had failed. And I had a laptop there it has been dead for about four months because of a failed video card. And I found out that uh, often this is caused by it being stored at an angle on the cooling desk. With the model I have, uh, the solder from underneath the chips can become too hot, melt slightly and detach itself from my legs. So, I found out that people have been using the baking technique at a higher temperature with a level motherboard inside to remelt the solder and get it to reattach. Alas, bringing their video card back. And this has been done on loads of different video cards. And I thought, well, my laptop is dead. What have I got to lose? Can't afford a new motherboard. May as well stick it in and see what happens. So, here's what I did and how I did it, and the results! Enjoy! Okay, and welcome to the lab. Is our patient? Is our cup of tea? Now, first of all, how do we know that it's the video card that's gone and not the motherboard completely? Well, if we uh, put the power light on, you will all know from your own computers that as you're picking up there's a certain sequence of lights that your hard drive goes through and from this light here I can see that my hard drive is doing its usual thing so that means the uh, the motherboard is actually fine it's the video card again it's playing up so get this back here you can actually see the monitors blank it has lightened up as it powers up, but it's getting no signal from the video card. So, we shall uh, shut it down. Shut it down. Power off. And a stripper, which first of all involves removing the battery, and the hard drives, and every screw you come across on the bottom, which in this computer is a huge amount. So, fast forward. Here we go.
Okay, next stage the operation. <laughs> the most dangerous bit. What are we going to do? We're in the house. Laptop motherboard. Hello, cheesy, cheesy topping, uh, jelly thingy. So, we're going to bake it. But, the most important thing at this point, let me just come out in a bit. There we go. The most important thing at this point is to make sure this board is as level as can be reasonably expected. So I'm going to use this uh, uh, spirit level and because it's going into a bloody hot oven small balls of tin foil just to prop it up to get it as level as shut up dog level as possible so we got the company of the singing dog again Right. It's quite important that when you put this in the oven, try not to disturb these. Okay, that's as level as I can reasonably expect to get it. So, while I've been uh, operating and taking it apart, the oven has been uh, preheating. If you've never stripped a laptop before, then don't preheat the oven while you're stripping it because it'll be there for bloody hours. Now we're going to transfer it to the oven. And here is the oven, mostly warmed, 200 degrees, burn your bloody hands off. So extreme caution, be very wary when or if you ever do this. And the placer in there, uh, with my timing device, very gently. Put in. Oh, take that off. That won't survive us. <laughs> and close. And we're going to put it in there 200 degrees for 8 minutes. 10.39 at the moment. So I shall take her out at 10.47. And let's see what we've got. Okay, it's time for the extraction at 10.47 or so. There we go. Over Simpson, go in and get him. All right. Uh. Okay, there she is. Very hot, 200 degrees, so goes without saying, but you never know somebody might do it, so I'm going to say it anyway. Don't touch, hot, let cool. Should take about ooh, five minutes usually to cool these because uh, they dissipate heat very quickly. So, I shall see you back in the lab. Welcome back to the lab. Uh, literally five minutes later, and it's perfectly cool. Oh, I did leave some tape on there and it's survived. Oh, okay. Use for next time. Uh, okay, alright, reassembly. Uh, you've seen me take it apart, so I'm not going to film me putting it back together because it's stressful enough putting it back together without a camera pointing at you. So, I shall see you on the other side. Okay, I lied. Or at least I forgot. One part I'm only going to show you is the processor here, uh, when we took the, the cooling system off, we removed the contact body, so we need to now replace the contact body. In theory, a very simple process. Ah, there we go. I've got my hands already. How oh, yes. Right, on the top, just place a small ball of pate. I don't make it too much of a mess. And then on the edge, you just make a little, you just put a little bit around the side there. there go. Push it around. Not too much. Bodge just a little bit. Oh, yeah. Alright. There we 
Okay, now the top bit, get credit card or business card, and just spread it out so it's just there, 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 there. It could be because it's a contact putty, not smothering putty. Try and get it to the layer. All of it. There we go. Now on the sides here, this stuff is apparently conductive. Try not to get it on any of the transistors around here. And keep it as smart as you can. If you split anywhere, try and clear it up. Now I am not an expert at this, I've never actually been shown this in real life, so I just do the best I can. Okay, uh, sounds like Twitter. Anyway, I'm just going to rope a bit of that off. And that's my bunch job. Right, okay, cooling back on. Okay, then put this back on. Wibble it around a little bit. Okay, and. Try to unlock the uh, heat sink. And a ribbon and cooling fan back into place. For some reason, I don't know why, they don't actually use this uh, contact putty on the video card on these. Go figure. I do not know why. Maybe that's why it's uh, failing. But if it fails again, I shall be doing that with contact putty just to see what difference it makes. But I shall uh, continue assembling it and. Uh, See one other side. Okay, at the moment, uh, to take into account this is still in a million pieces, but it's all wired together. And as you can see, do, 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 it's doing checks. But the monitor has a picture again, and it's perfect. <laughs> so, time to uh, finish putting this baby back together. We shall see how she looks. Right. Here we go, reassembled. Da, 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 da. And as you can see, she lives to die another day. The uh, difference this time is we've always used uh, curling pads like these, which are at an angle. Uh, but apparently, the weak spot in the design of these that this can cause this failure with the solder. So they must be try and keep them flat. Which is what we've got here. I'm using uh, to keep it off the floor, which I always do to keep dust away. Try and keep dust away. I'm using the outer case of an old hard disk recorder that was stripped. So uh, that will be keeping it cool from now on. Fun car, the much.